Whether you're a big fan of 90s football or you just want a change to your football manager saves, today's video might be the one for you. We're going to be showcasing the Mad Scientist 1992 to 1993 database, allowing you to manage greats of the past and rewrite football history. Whether you want to develop wonder kids with the names of Beckham and Giggs, or you want to take over and manage some of the world's greatest ever footballers, your Cafus, your Baggios, or your Maradonas, this database could be the one for you, and I think it's great fun. Hi everyone, Jake here for FM Scout, and as I mentioned in that intro, today we're going to be looking at the amazing database made by the Mad Scientist. They've completely overhauled Football Manager, got rid of all the current world players, and replaced them with players of the past. But not only that, you're going to have your leagues overhauled to be like they were in the 1992-1993 season, the rankings of the leagues changed, and the world of football is a completely different climate, and that is going to make for a very fun Football Manager save. Whether you want to look around, make your own save or simulate years into the future to see how the world might have played out if you were in charge, this database is so much fun and we're about to showcase just a few things that you can find in this database. Before we do, I'd like to ask you guys to like the video if you enjoy and comment down below which player you're most excited or which player was your favourite from this 90s era. Subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell if you haven't already and if you want to check out my channel, you can find all that linked in the description, more Let's Play style stuff, the save with Wolfsburg, that kind of thing. I think we've covered everything and I think we're ready to get into looking at this database. As I said, you'll be able to find everything you need in the description. Straight from the off, we can see so many cool things on this list. You've got David Beckham as the hot prospect at Manchester United, their key player being Peter Schmeichel. There are a few things I will just point out, discrepancies that you might see, but you don't need to worry about too much. The first one being your in-game clock will say 2021, but realistically, this is 1992, 1993. It's just not going to be represented accurately in that date bar. And if you see anything else that looks out of place, chances are that it's just something to do with my skin and that kind of thing. For example, I noticed Edwin van der Sar was in the favoured personnel section. Obviously, he hasn't played for Manchester United at this point and is still at Ajax, so that's a little discrepancy, but I think that is down to the skin I'm using. But other than that, I think we're good to go. I think everything's been explained, but as I've mentioned, everything has been overhauled in this world, and I think it's just great the detail that's been gone into. If we head into the Premier League, we're managing Manchester United here, we can see the past winners from the most recent seasons, we can see the reflected rankings of world football here with Syria as the top division in the world in terms of reputation. We've got a Premier League that features the likes of Wimbledon, Oldham Athletic, Nottingham Forest and Ipswich, some teams you wouldn't see around there nowadays. You've got Coventry's as well. All of these teams have been overhauled and there's been so much detail across different leagues. There is going to be overhauled squads and it's just so much fun to have a look around, even if you're not planning on playing. Just to check everything out is so good. Like, for example, here, if we go to Manchester United and just look at some of the players in their squad, there's plenty of well-known names in the team from Peter Schmeichel, who is accurately reflected with his own set of attributes. You can imagine the painstaking detail it would have cost to make every single player reflect what they were like in real life. And um, yeah, you've got your likes of Peter Schmeichel. I saw Ryan Giggs was up there as a young 19 year old with plenty of potential. We, of course, saw David Beckham was a hot prospect at the club. If we go to the most recent title winning team of Leeds, you've got your Gary Speeds, your Eric Cantona, who looks like a superb striker. And who knows, maybe a certain Manchester United manager might want to bring him to the club with plenty of French caps and plenty of French goals. This guy has got a great career ahead of him. I would guess. Anyway, who knows how it's going to turn out? Nobody does, but you guys can try and either recreate some amazing players or completely change history. Maybe you want to take over as Leeds and make sure Manu never get another sniff and just keep winning and winning titles with Leeds United. Whatever you'd like to do. Um, Alan Shearer is at Blackburn as their key player at the age of 21. A very good striker with a great nose for goal. He looks like someone that you'd want to pick up. And there's just so many cool things to check out. Um, I haven't even checked out everything here, of course, because there's so much to go into. We can head over to the Scottish Premiership if we want. Head over to Celtic. Their squad has been overhauled with players of the past, but it's not just the British divisions that have been affected. If we head over to Barcelona, we can see they're currently managed by the late great Johan Cruyff, who, yeah, he, he's a pretty good manager, isn't he? We've got Michael Laudrup as their key player. Um, I've still got the face pack on from last year, so we've actually got manager version of Michael Laudrup's face in here. You might see a few things like that. That's just the face pack I've got on, but it is quite cool to see. This is meant to be a 28-year-old man 
I'm not so sure. Elite attacking midfielder, what a player he is. We've got a 21-year-old central defensive midfielder by the name of Pep Guardiola. Never heard of him. I don't think he's got much of a career ahead of him. I don't know about you. We've got Ronald Koeman. We've got Stoichkov, amongst many others. This is just so cool to look at. Real Madrid's overhauled. All these teams, all these nations have been completely overhauled in the way that they're set up. And it's really great to see. I mean, even this kind of detail, you go into Syria and you see a team that, I'll be honest, as someone who wasn't born at this time, I've never heard of, but I'm sure that they were around at that time. We've got Ancona. Maybe they're a team that don't exist anymore, or they must have fell quite far down because I do not recognize that team name. Looking at the season preview for Syria, and we can see a bunch of very well-known faces. We've got Rijkaard, Haji, Maldini, Baresi, Baggio, uh, Brian Laudrup's here as well for Fiorentina. Marco Van Basten is at AC Milan. There is plenty of detail here. And then you can go even further than that. If we just go to the player search and look at some of the players that exist. We've got Diego Maradona at Sevilla. Yes, he might be a bit old, but I think he is still a very good player. Maybe you want to bring him over to the Premier League and see Maradona playing for Manchester United or Liverpool or whatever it might be. Anything goes in this world. You can really just rewrite history. We've got Mateus on here. We've even got, if we keep going down, good old Gary Lineker at the age of 31 playing for Grampus in Japan. He could still definitely get a goal or two, but his best days might be behind him. I've just been looking around and I found a French wonder kid playing for Bordeaux. Have anyone ever heard of him? Zinedine Zidane. He looks like he could be a good little player if given the opportunity. Just, just a thought. Maybe he can play football. Maybe you don't want Zidane and you want Rude Hullet, someone a bit more experienced or maybe you want to play them both together. It's just the world is your oyster really with this simulation, with this world. You can do whatever you like. The detail put into this database really is just amazing to see. We've got a young Sol Campbell, a young Roy Keane, a young Gareth Southgate, amongst many other names. To show the detail that's been gone into here, I've gone over to Sao Paulo and we have found Cafu playing in the Brazilian division. So obviously some work's been put in down there in the Brazilian leagues. Now I can't say I know Sao Paulo's exact senior squad from this year, but even out here in the Brazilian divisions, these teams have been completely overhauled. I really like what's been done here. I think you can do whatever you want in this save and just have fun with it. It really is super easy to set up. Everything you need will be in the description. If you're going to try it out, let us know. We just wanted to showcase just a few things that are in this world and let you discover the rest for yourself because there is so much to be found, so many hidden details. For the more experienced players out there, your championship manager knowledge is all going to come in handy signing the right players in this world. Let us know in the comments if you're going to use this and big props to the mad scientists for making such a great data base yet again. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Feel free to check out my stuff, linked in the description. And most of all, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.